And this nation, of, so whatever nation you got, whether it's kindness, whether it's other nations, all these nations are going to die with that person called Aaron. Okay. You see what I mean? When Jesus is saying, I go to my God and your God, yes, you cannot say it's human nature is saying this. Because this person, nature, or the human nature and the divine nature, are attached to one person, the second person of the Trinity. And the second person of the Trinity is stating and asserting many times in the Bible that he by himself can do nothing. As I hear, I obey. Okay, okay, I go to my God and He limited God. himself. Wait, wait, wait. He limited himself first. Temporarily as the Messiah. So you believe him, not fully God, you believe that he's the only God the Father is in heaven. God the Father is in heaven. All the, he's never left heaven. God the Father is always in heaven. He does things. We are three things. Who you are, what you do, and what you say. Now, God does stuff by his power. You believe that? God is powerful. He can do stuff. So he does stuff by his power, by his spirit. And he also says, that he says in the Bible that the word became flesh. Temporarily, the word of God, God, what he says, communicated, who made everything in the whole universe, let there be light and everything like that, temporarily came to the Middle East for 33 years. Why? Because he had to fulfill what the prophets have said about the Messiah. So he is the Messiah. The question is, is he truly Lord? Now, according to Dawood, in Psalm 110, he clearly is. And in other and in other writings as well, Zechariah and the other prophets, he clearly is. He fulfilled his, he, he is both the Messiah, but the thing is, you don't believe he is also Adonai. But when people refer to him, they always refer to him most, well, not always, 99% of the time, they refer to him as the Adonai Yeshua Mashiach. Now, he didn't say, don't call me Lord. I'm not saying you don't believe that he's Almighty God. Is that right? I think that's the kingdom. He is now, yeah. What do you mean now? Well, he, he was then. So we have to kill him. No, he, he, was, he was then. He, no, he was. But he was primarily, his main focus was not to say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm Elohim. I'm, no, the main thing is that I am the Messiah. I am I am the Adonai. I am the Lord. Are you saying that he's, he's Almighty God now? And he was when he was on earth. But his mission was... When he was on earth, and he said very clearly that he goes to his God, do you believe God can have a God? I believe that temporarily, if he's the Messiah, he, he's dependent on the power of the Holy Spirit to live a, a perfect life in the Middle East. No, no, that wasn't he my question. Would, he, well, in that sense, yes. My question is, if there is only yeah, the one Lord God... The Lord said unto my Lord. Listen, so you have... Listen, you, have you, you, said you keep going back to that, I've already explained hey, question, oh, Let me tell you this. If Jesus, in the New Testament, says that I go to my Father and your Father, my God and your God, in John chapter 20, verse yep, yep, 17, yep. Yes, what do you understand when he says that he goes to his God? I understand that he lived for 33 years dependent on the Holy Spirit, by the power of God. He, he is one with the Father, and yet he became this Messiah. He, be, he was born in, in Bethlehem. He had to live in Nazareth. He had to because that's fulfilled, fulfilling the prophecy. And then he had to work in Capernaum and on the Sea of Galilee, uh, Kinneret. So he temporarily limited himself in knowledge and power, who was able to, to do uh, miracles. But now he is totally one with... You see, God is spirit. You haven't answered my question. Do you remember my question? My question is, if there's only one God, how can that one God claim that he has a new spirit? How can you divide spirit? Who said he was spirit? He was flesh. No. Remember the he word became, became flesh? The word became flesh. Became flesh. Became, so, the, so the word became flesh yes. temporarily. For 30, but now he is one with the Father. Okay, so when he was flesh, was he fully God? In one sense, yes. In one sense, no. It doesn't pop out. Okay. 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 Can I ask you? No, you have to answer my question that I asked you. Can God have a God? Did Jesus have a God? The human nation Jesus had a God. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. When you say the human nation, wait a minute. I'll you promise I can ask you. Yeah, of course you can. Okay, good. When you say the human nation, yes? Whom is this human nature attached to? What do you mean? They, they unite to each other. Yeah, the divine nature, no, no. the human nature. You see, the nature, when you talk about the nature, the nature is always linked to a person. The nature doesn't exist or float in the air by itself. Yeah, the human, Jesus Christ is the person. So the human nature is attached to who? The divine nature. Jesus Christ. Yes, and who's Jesus Christ? Uh, God and man combined. No, within the Trinity, who's Jesus Christ? The, the word, the word who became flesh. Yes. The word. Is he the second person of the of the, uh, uh, yes. the Godhead? Yes. Okay. Does this second person of the Godhead have a God? No. No. So are you saying this second person of the Godhead, temporarily? Yes. Godhead was not the one that said, "I go to my God." You can say like this. You can say different things depending on what role you're playing. Yeah. Let's say you're a I king. You the, I gave you the role already. Let's say the you're role a, you're playing here. Yeah, but I am a Jesus. father, a brother, and a son all at the same time. Yeah. How many so, persons are you? I am one. Same with God. Good. So God, so, so can, that do, one person, God can do three no, things. I can do three things at once. That one person is always 
what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, Jesus. Ashim. Jesus can play the role of the Messiah. Yeah. Jesus can play the role of the Son. He can play the role of the God. The point remains the same. He is one person at the end of the day. Am I right? Yes. Because if you believe yeah, yeah, that he was more than one person, then you would be committing the heresy of Nestorianism. Can I ask you okay. can I ask you a question now? After you finish this, it's not finished yet. Well, I, God, I, I, we're not gonna move beyond this. No, no, we no, will, we will. Once you we're gonna agree to disagree agree on this. It's we're gonna go round and round and the key thing is Isaiah. When Isaiah Jesus said, clearly said that he has a God. Do you agree? Sir, yes, he says. Uh, yes. Yeah, but he also clearly said he was God. He's going round in circles. Going round in circles. Yes, please. Okay. okay. I challenge any okay. Christian okay. to show me the passage that Jesus claims. I will tell you. John. Going round in yeah. circles. Jesus claimed that? He did. Are those the words of Jesus? The Gospel of John. Yeah. No, because you don't. I mean, that's you said Jesus said. Anything I draw, you'll just say that's the perversion. No, no. That's the perversion. You said Jesus said. Jesus claimed to be God. Yeah. Yes. So, so yeah. Jesus, listen. Show me the words of Jesus, not John. Let me do it. Yeah. No, 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 because anything. It's you, like, you it's like saying, if, if you find out Abraham, I am. am. I can say, uh, well, that's not really God speaking the Quran. Only, I only like certain <laughs> verses of the Quran. No, no, I believe no, 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 the Quran is clear. The Quran is clear. Who's no, you know, what I'm saying? saying. Anything I am true to my argument of where Jesus clearly says the gospel is God, you're just going to say, well, that's Quran. No, I will not. John 5, to, John 5, John 5, not from John. Mark or Matthew? Yes. 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 Jesus. You know the red letter words that yes. you find in yes. there? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show me yeah. where Jesus said he's I shall. God. I shall. Go on. Says, Abraham. Uh, are you listening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you listening? 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 Here's, here's the big moment. Ashim. I am. Ashim. Can you see it? Drum roll. Drum roll. Okay. He says, um, Abraham was I am. Am I right? Yes. No need for drum roll, I know this already. Well, there you go. You guys are predictable. Uh, you're a couple of guys, of course you know. Okay, yeah. before Abraham was, I am what? Is the name from this sentence. Finish it. That's it, that's the sentence ends. No, that's right. not English, is it? Before, listen, guys, before, no, 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 before no, no, Abraham was, I am. Is yes. that a complete sentence? Yes, yes, right. yes oh, absolutely. That's true. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. I am what? Then, I am. Say I am. Really? Only God. Okay. Shall I show you Paul in the Bible says I am? The There's a bucket in the Bible who says I am. Many yeah. people said I am. Ashim. Shall I show you? Ashim. Shall I show you? Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Chill, 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 chill. Let's go around in circles. Ashim. Ashim. Chill. You know, shall I show you how you're wrong? Let's let's assume what you're saying. Ashim. Before, wait a minute, man. Come on. One at a time. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to answer. No, no. The answer. The answer. The answer. The answer. The answer. Okay. So what I'm saying is this: If Jesus said before Abraham was I am, what does that indicate to you? He existed before. How? God says in the Old Testament. What's the the first passage where God reveals himself, or one of the main passages where God reveals himself to man, Jews, Christians, Muslims, we can all agree on this. He reveals himself to Moses. Moses says, what is your name? What does he say? He says, I am that I am. So don't mock that tradition because that's your tradition as well. God is the great I am. Is it Jewish tradition? It's not a Muslim tradition. So do not get your facts jumbled up. Well, that's, that's the first What's his name in Hebrew? Yehovah. In, 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 I am, in I am who I am. Yeah, exactly. Yes, listen, listen, That's the one. eternal one. Exodus 3.14, yes, when he was asked about yeah, 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 yeah. his name, yeah. did God give him the name? He said, no, the name is I am. I am. That's all he says, I am who I am. Yeah. Means, yeah. No, listen. Just tell yeah. them listen, listen, that listen, listen. I am who I am sent you. Listen, yeah. if you don't accept that passage, I don't accept it. No, no, it's not about accepting. It's about how you interpret it. If you don't accept yeah. that passage, Jesus I don't claimed the same. When he let says, when he says, Exodus 3.14, I'll give you the words number. In Exodus 3.14, you will not find the word Yahweh. That's you know why? You do. You do. You do. You, in the Exodus 3 14, in the word, yes, 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 yes. I got the words. If you want, I'll give you the words. Show it. Show it. Jews understood. And they picked up the stone. Exactly. The stone. exactly. Now listen. Yeah. If you don't accept that verse, then you don't worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because that's where God says, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I am. Now, Muslims, we all say that you worship God. What you're talking about is what the Father said, not Jesus. So the Father says, I am who I am as sent you. He did not give them his name. Okay? I'll give you the, the exact, uh, what do you say, the words in Hebrew. Yes, please, bring in Hebrew. No problem. Do you read Hebrew? I do. Oh, my you? God is a living God. Uh, I don't. My God is but I got the translation. Fair enough. Uh, the translation. Translation's good enough, usually. I got the translation. But I want to, you promised that I get to ask you a yes, question. Because yes, I really, uh, you know, I... I yeah, of course you will ask me a question. Okay, good, good. good. Ask the question while he's looking it up. Yeah, 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 okay. So, 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 so
In the Quran, okay, it says that Jesus. Yeah, that it, where is it? So, Lost my chance. Exodus 3:14. Show me where the word Yahweh is. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's in 314. The word Yahweh is not in 314. It's in 315. Wait, 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 wait. No, but he's not using it as his name in 314. Listen, listen. In 315, don't worry, I can take the two. Okay, listen to this. If in 315 the word Yahweh is there, you show me the word I am. Because that's, the, that's what you're dealing with. I am is equal to Yahweh. No, 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 no. Show me the word I am in 315. Yahweh Elohei ever taken. Yeah, where's I am? Exactly. It's in the last. I, just, I literally don't understand. It's in the last verse. No, no, you you claim that I am means Yahweh. Yes. yes. The word Yahweh is not found That's where I am is found. Yahweh is from the root. Let me finish. Let me finish. The word I am is not found where the word Yahweh is found, and the word Yahweh is not found where the word I am is found in 3, 4, Exodus 3:14 and 3:15. So anyone who says Jesus is claiming to be God is utterly wrong based on this word. And you know what? Most of the most of the I'm Hebrew translations. No wait, wait. Most of the Hebrew translations when they read. And the word I am as well in Hebrew. What is the word for I am? It's uh, yes. The main question is this. Did the Messiah give his life? The translation that I've no, seen. Fulfillment of his Isaiah prophecy. In John, in John, Isaiah prophesied. We all like sheep have gone astray, but the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. That's a prophecy 600 years before he gave his life. And he's alive. In, in 3.15, where the word listen, Yahweh is there. Listen, That's listen. amazing. The That's the main thing. We're Yahweh sinners. We need the, the perfect uh, sacrifice to take away our sins. Consonants of the verb to be. That's where it comes from. It has the yod, the Hush vowel, Let's go around in and circle. the hair. Hey, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you know, just, just to clarify, yeah, yeah, you're, you're saying when he says, I am, when he's asked his name, and he says, I am, that's okay, it's okay. about other things, but listen, are you saying when he says, I am, what I am? I am. Uh -huh. He's trying to say that's my name. He's not trying to say, hear me out. Hear me out. Let me finish off. Let me finish off. He's not saying when he's asked, "Are you God?" and he says, "I am what I am," meaning I am God. Yes. You're trying to say, "I am" is his name instead. Is that what you're trying to say? He's saying that he's beyond every name. You see how logic doesn't take your side. He's claiming to be God. Why did you did you pick up the stone to stone you? I'm trying to talk to you. What I'm trying to say is, if there's a lion and you say, "What is that?" and I say, "It is what it is." I don't mean it's God. Do no, that's why you're I mean it's a claim. lion. That's why it was a strategy claim. The point is that God is beyond every categorization and description. That's not what that's I am means. Saying. Yes, yes. Existence. I'm, existence is own I'm in agreement with you. Him, but what you hear me out. Hear me out. No, you haven't. No, 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 no. Sorry. I know, I know, I know. No, no, no. I'm asking a valid question. The heart of the matter. I am means I am God, not his name. We're all sinners. Anyone who's logical will take it like that. We're all sinners. So for the heart of the matter is that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for someone who knows Hebrew, do you agree that the word Elohim is not always? Yes, yes. Oh, sorry. Am I, yeah. Okay. Am I right? The word Elohim, as we said earlier, is not always true. What do you mean by it's not always true? Depending, depending on the word, along with the Elohim, yes, it can either be singular or plural, depending on the word. It's only used in a singular context when it refers to Almighty God. Yes, okay. Okay, so when was it ever used for Jesus? Almighty God. What word Elohim? Well, the New Testament is not written in Hebrew. Why would the word Elohim? So why do you say that he's Almighty God? On what basis do you say that? Because, okay, Elohim is Almighty God, but that's not the only name for God. I'm asking you, on what basis do you say Jesus is the Almighty God? I am, I am. When you never have God, I am. Okay. No, because you haven't, you haven't. No, no, no. He said, before Abraham was, I am. If you're trying to say the word I am means God, then Jesus is saying, before Abraham was God. Let's substitute the word I am with God. And then say before Abraham was God. But why you see what I mean? Why say I am God. No, it is I am God. Why did the Pharisees pick up the stone to stone him? Why? They did the same thing. Exactly. They got exactly. misunderstanding. No, 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 no. Yes. They fully, they fully understood that Jesus was not the same one word. Guys, come on. So what I'm saying, look, do you believe this? Jesus, Jesus fully understood. No, no, no. no you, you, okay, you're, you're making, 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 Okay. Isn't what it is? No, I'm not. Okay, so what are you okay. saying? Because I could not say 
about me, Harry Lyons, before Abraham was I am. I can't say that. That would be blasphemy. Do you understand? So you are so, claiming I am means God? No, I'm not. Then, what are you trying to say? I'm saying only God can say I am full stop. Okay, can God say that? Without listen, reference listen, to time. Listen, listen. Do you understand? Can, can God say you don't know I by myself about. can do nothing? You don't know what That's he's talking about. That's human nature. Okay, so when, when he said okay. I am, he wasn't in human nature? Why did the devil tell us? Okay. Every time the weakness of Jesus comes, that is his human nature. But when he says I am, or when he forgives That's sins, he believe. becomes a God all of a sudden. That's what we believe. That's what we you believe. Can't, Temporary, you can't limited. Yeah. You either say that he's God you Almighty, to to or that he's an empty God. There's no such thing as an empty God. Okay, okay I'm going to ask my questions now. I'm going to ask yeah, my go questions. On, go on. Okay, okay. Listen to logic. So, anyway, it says in the Quran, yeah. okay, that Isa ibn Maryam is Ruh Allah. Yes? Ruh from Allah. Ruh, no, 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 no. It says Min Allah. Ruh. It also says Ruh Allah, and it says it is the Kalam of Allah. Yes? Yeah. Okay, so it says he's the spirit of God. Yeah. No, 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 Okay, first and foremost, the title of Kalimat mm -hmm. and Ruh, Ruh of Allah is actually given to Isa a.s. The reason for that is Isa a.s. was born miraculously. Yes. Prophet Muhammad a.s. was not born miraculously. No, 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 no. Adam was born miraculously and Muhammad okay, received I'm coming spirit. to Adam. No problem. You okay. asked about Muhammad. So I'm answering no, no. I know that Muhammad can't be called the Kalimat Allah, but he can be called the Ruh of Allah. Okay, so, so with regards to Adam, uh -huh. yes, and Isa a.s. You know there's a verse in the Quran which says the creation of Isa is like that of Adam. When Allah wants something to happen, all he has to, all he says is be. All he commands is the word be. Kun, fayakun, and it becomes. So Allah is already giving you the answer to that question. For Adam, okay. for Adam, God did not say be. Repeat the question again. Okay. Okay. Adam did. Yes. Can I ask you, is Adam Kalamatullah? In what sense? Is that the title of Adam? No, that's not the title. Why not? I'll tell you why. Because Allah, like it says, when Adam was created by Allah, he wasn't born of a woman like Jesus was, okay. okay? So he wasn't born in the same miraculous way as Jesus. I would say it was more miraculous the way he was created than Jesus was. So it's reason, not the same as Adam? Of course it's not. But the, like, the, the creation, in both instances, it is the command of Allah what brought them into existence. So in that sense, okay. it is a likeness. However, like I said, Isa alayhi salam had a mother, Maryam. Yes? Adam alayhi salam did not have a mother or a father. He was the first man who was created directly by Allah, and this is the miracle of Allah again. Now, what Isa a.s. was called Kalimat Allah, and, and he was called Ruh Allah, is because of his miraculous birth from a human being, Maryam a.s. It is this miracle of his for which he was given. Without so, so Allah actually uses the soul which he created, and he blew it through an angel Jibril into, yeah, yeah, into Mary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay? So this creation, this room, is actually a creation of Allah. Don't get me wrong. Okay. It is not the direct. What do you say? Oh, it no, it doesn't say it, that in the it, Quran. It, no, it does actually. It says, Min Allah. Ruh, I should give you the words. In 4171. No, it's in Surah al Okay, listen here. It's here, here. He doesn't say it here. Yeah, it's his word. It's his word. Yeah, the oh, yeah, news yeah, of yeah, word. Yeah. Okay. The news. Yeah. No, but this is, no, there's another one. There's but he's Kalimatullah, yeah. we don't deny it. The reason he's called Kalimatullah yeah. is because this Kalima is actually the command of Allah. Yes? Be, kun, fayakun. And that's why he's given this title of Kalimatullah. Okay, okay get, now the, we, get the spirit okay. Let's get the spirit Yeah, this is the spirit word. So chapter 4, 171. This is actually addressing the people of the scripture. All people of the scripture, do not come in excess in your religion. Yeah, 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 about, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I finish? Have respect for the for the surah. Well, don't say, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, it's not the Bible. Okay, okay. This is the but Quran. No, 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 no. Okay, you might. I should respect you the Quran. You should respect. No, the but Bible. you. 
but you, the way you read the, the Bible, the way you misquoted it, like for example, you're saying the word uh, Elohim can mean plural, the word I am can mean God, all these things is not really respecting the true definition of these words. As the Hebrew speaking people, only they he tell can you, I am. Insulting. No reason, only, only, only and Muslims are what the Hebrew to disrespect. The people who know the Hebrew yeah. language, they say that the word I am is not translated as I am, it's translated as uh, he who is or who he will be. This is the Hebrew speaking people saying this. So let's get back to the Quran. Where I, could, Allah I, says, I could answer that, but let, yeah. let's not. He says, You're all people of the scripture. Okay, go. Do not commit excess in your religion or say about Allah except the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, was but the messenger of Allah and his word, which he directed to Mary and a soul. Okay? In the bracket, he says, created as a command from him. So believe in Allah and his messenger and do not say three. Mm -hmm. Okay, addressing but the. There's another verse. Wait, wait, let me finish. This is addressing the Trinitarians. Do not yes, say three. I know. Yes? Yep. And it goes on to say, this is, it is better for you indeed. Allah is but one God. Exalted is He above having a son. Mm -hmm. Yes? To Him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. And sufficient is Allah as a disposer of affairs. So this clearly shows you that Allah doesn't have a son. Do not say that He's three. Mm -hmm. Do not say that Jesus, sorry, here it proves that Jesus is actually a soul from him mm -hmm. okay because here look it says about the ro uh, ro mm -hmm. I know ro -hum -min -hum is there. yeah ro -hum -min -hum. remember I told you yeah. earlier yes not ro -hum -la. but it says ro -hum -la in another verse if I remember correctly well, get the I might be wrong yeah, get the, but this verse is very clear with regards to Jesus mm -hmm. so it, it defeats three things one do not say Trinity two uh, Allah doesn't have a God and the most important thing that his rule Jesus is rule is from yeah we showed him already okay, so that's it. That's the same verse. That's the same verse. But there's another verse. I, 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 I might be correct about this, but I'm, I thought there was another verse which is where it said, Ruhullah. Even if it's, look, even if it's a rule of life, this rule is, belongs to Allah. The one that was created by Allah belongs to Allah. Yes? Just like, just like you said, children of God. Yes? Yeah. It doesn't make you, it doesn't make you God, does it? But let, Children of God means you are from God. So why is he called Ruhullah? What's the reason? I told you already, his creation, his miraculous ah, creation, the okay. rule that Allah breathed, uh, that Allah breathed through Jibreel into, okay. into Mary's womb. Okay. And then this miraculous birth took place. This, uh, uh, this miraculous uh, uh, conceive, uh, uh, Maria conception took place is something of, because of which he got this title. Okay. Does that answer your question? No, I mean, uh, the thing is, I've heard different answers from other Muslims so I was going on that. Whereby uh, another Muslim uh, told me a different answer saying that he's a insofar as God sent his inspiration to Isa like he did to Muhammad. That's another answer I've heard. Because then, then they would both be called. Well, that's what I asked. Yeah. You know, so the answer I gave you yeah, is more yeah. because it's, It is the miraculous birth, the miraculous conception of Jesus in the womb of Mary. Okay. Yes? Because remember, he was not from a union of a man and a woman. His creation was miraculous. Mary was a virgin when she conceived Jesus. As a Muslim, I believe this. As a Christian, you believe this. Yes? Maybe yeah. the Jews don't believe this, but this, this is something that we believe firmly, that Isa a.s. was born miraculously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hence, this room which Allah breathed through angels of Israel into Mary's womb is from Allah. So hence, he's called room min Allah. Okay, but Adam's not. Adam wasn't given this title, but the room that was breathed, okay, in Adam, was also using the same miraculous uh, command. And why wasn't Adam given the title? Because like I said, Adam did not come from a woman. So he, he was okay. created, he was So you're born. only the word of God and the spirit of God if you happen to be born, not miraculously, but just from a virgin. No, no, I'm not going to There's question... That's a specific wait, wait. category. Look, look, I'm not going to interpret why God gave him this title ah, and God okay. gave him. But I gave you the, the reason, no, no. I gave you the rational, reasonable response to, a, to, a, to why Jesus is called Ruhman of law and why it's called Kalimatullah. You don't but, know. No, I told you already. I said it's called Kalimatullah because Allah uses his command B in his creation. Yes? Hence it's called Kalimatullah and it's called Ru, Min Allah, because he was uh, he was miraculously conceived 
in the womb of Mary through the same okay. call. No, by the you haven't, by the given, power you haven't given me the answer. It's up to you to, you to accept it. I tell you what. I've repeated my answer three times. I tell you what. It's up to you to no, accept it. No, 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 no. Because by that logic, by that logic, Adam is also Kalamatullah. Okay, was Adam born? Adam was born miraculous. No, was he born or created? It says in the Quran. Was he born or was he created? It says in the Quran that Allah said, Kun Fayakun. Answer my question. Okay. Was he born or was he created? Uh, why, I, I was Adam born from any human being? Created. Or was he created? Why is that relevant? It's very why relevant. It's it's relevant. Very relevant. Why? Because the rule that was breathed through Mary, okay. yes, gave birth to a man who came via a human being. He was born, he wasn't created. Okay. Now look, Allah gave many, for example. You would say Jesus is a friend of God, yes? But Abraham was given the title of being a friend of Allah. He's called Khalil Allah, yes? Why was his title not given to Isa Even Prophet Muhammad is a friend of Allah. Well, I, guess, I, guess, I don't believe Abraham listen, listen. was given that title. Listen. We don't have that in our tradition. Oh, so you see, what, what you're discussing from the Quran, so I'm giving you my tradition. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's be fair. Yeah. So the title wasn't given to Muhammad. It wasn't given to Isa. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. I can't see the whole. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, which uh, this is chapter three again. Uh, so, Al Imran was is it 59? Okay. So he says, indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is like that of Adam. He created him from dust. Yes. And then he said to him, be, and he was. Yes. 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 In a God who died by his own creation. The, okay, yes, this is uh, asked a lot. Um, you see it as a sign of weakness that God chose to incarnate and die for the sins of mankind. In Christianity, we see it as a strength. We see it as God saying to humanity, this is who I am. Can you do that originally, can you do that for yourself? Okay, so originally God reveals himself on the mountain of Sinai. Sorry, say the, say the bit about the weakness again. So there's strength in the weakness. Jesus says to St. Paul. That doesn't make sense. Jesus says to St. Paul, my strength is perfected in weakness. What does, That's mean? what does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. God reveals himself thunder at Mount Sinai, thunder and lightning, killing Egyptians, plagues, all this kind of nonsense. Yeah? All nonsense. Good, 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 good stuff, sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's just All this kind of stuff, right? God reveals himself. Yeah? These are the punishments for Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but listen, 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 listen. Okay. With, with Jesus, we're also perpetrating the second coming. Listen, listen, listen. That was the initial moment, yeah? Then God reveals himself later on and says, okay, I had to reveal myself like that to you because you lived in an environment that was so evil you couldn't possibly understand what my true nature was. My true nature is being meek, mild, and loving. What does Jesus say in the Gospel? And there's, sorry, sorry my friend, but there's no passage like this in the Quran whatsoever. That's my personal opinion. Jesus says, be merciful as your Father in heaven is merciful. Turn the other cheek, then you will be like unto him. He makes his reign, for he makes his reign on both the wicked and the good. And he makes his sun shine on both the righteous and the unrighteous. So even today, God is shining his sun on everyone here on Speaker's Corner, regardless of whether they're his enemies or whether they're his friends. You're preaching, you're not answering the question. I'm getting to it. So the point is, you patiently listen, you will get down. God incarnates. I'll ask him when I need it. God incarnates. If you keep quiet, then you will show. God incarnates and willingly undergoes suffering to show to humanity who thinks he's this God far away, thundering, frightening, showing to humanity, no, I am God with you, I'm not like that. I, am, I believe in humility, I believe in love, I believe in turning the cheek, washing each other's feet. There's nothing like that in the Quran. And you ask why I'm not a Muslim. One reason above any, because the example of Jesus Christ, I believe, is higher than that of Muhammad. Although, why comparing a God to my prophet? Uh, because, what do you mean? I, I, I don't understand the question. Because every time, every time I ask the Christians about questions about Jesus Christ, yeah, yeah, yeah. they will always compare him to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The reason for that is because they see him somehow in their in their minds, okay, that he is a human being. So the only way they can compare a human being is to finish. I didn't interrupt you when you were talking, okay? And you also please keep point. So what I'm saying.
thing is that if Jesus is Almighty God, first question that arises in my mind is that how can Almighty God, who, by the way, you believe this is in the Bible, yeah. yes, that is immortal? Yes? Do you believe Jesus is immortal? Jesus is human nature, wasn't immortal. You're doing it again. You're doing it again. You're doing it again. Because you're going, to, you're going to commit heresy. Do you realize that? You're committing the heresy of historianism when you say that it's human nature and it's divine nature somehow two different persons. It's the same person. Yeah, yeah, it's the same person. Okay. So it is the same person, the second person of Trinity. Is he mortal or immortal? I, I don't understand what you're saying. You seem to be saying the whole Christianity is the heresy of historianism. No, no, only those people, only those people who supray, only those people who supray this divinity and humanity from that person. That one person should always have these two natures. So you cannot say, in his humanity he died, by the way, God the Builder did the same uh, heresy, he committed the same heresy. He says, in his uh, human nature, yes, he's, he has a God, but in his essence he doesn't have a God. But the essence and human nature are attached to that one person. Do you realize this? So, yeah, let I, me ask I, I don't know, you, you're, you're trying to, look, we're never going to get far from No, that's because the reason is your logic will never be able to grasp this matter that Almighty God can die. When God in 1 Timothy 6.16 says that he is immortal, yes? You know when you die, listen, listen, when you die... It's just a matter of opinion. We're no, never no, going to make a way on I'll tell you why not. When you die, will your soul live on and your, your human nature die? Uh, when I die, my body will die and my soul will live Your body is your human nature, right? Uh, I'd say my human nature is both mine. So, what do you mean? What combined with what? Yeah, to be a fully human, you have to have body and soul. Of but course. we're getting on a tangent. No, no, no. I'll tell you how you're mistaken. Continue. Your body will die. Did Jesus' body die? Yes. Yes. And then, yeah. And his soul, his soul went on. Whether it went to Hades or hell or wherever it went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yes, his soul lived on. Okay, when you die, is there going to be any difference other than the way you die? No. Exactly. Would you call yourself immortal? Uh, no. Okay, is Jesus immortal? Okay, his human body is not immortal. Listen, listen, listen. We're never going to get away anywhere. The reason you will never get anywhere is because you. What? Lakum Faliyadi. What? Lakum Lakum Faliyadi. Lakum Di Lakum Faliyadi. Okay. Let's try. But, but good, good try at least. I, I, I try. You know. Yes. Okay, you know, you were saying, you were saying there is no words in the Quran like this. In the Quran like this. Do you know that in the Quran, actually, you're right. There are verses in the Bible which are not like, like in the Quran. For example, in the Bible, Jesus says, for, uh, uh, "Redemption is only by spilling of blood." There's no such verse in the Quran. If my God doesn't require blood to forgive. Oh. <laughs> So if there is no atonement, there yeah, is no yeah, salvation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, My God no, can no, forgive no, no, without no, spilling no, blood. No, 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 he doesn't no, no, demand that. No, so that's why, that's why. Do you agree? That's why I'm not. Do you agree? Allah, 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 do you agree? Abraham can you be forgiven without spilling of blood? I could be. No, but, no, but can you? Listen, listen, can you? Listen, listen, listen. Yes, can you? Yes. So Jesus was wrong when he says redemption is only through spilling of blood. He didn't say that. Okay, what did he say? Maybe I got, I don't know exact. That was the exact term. But forgiveness, oh yeah, forgiveness is only through spilling of blood. Listen. Do you agree with that? Listen, you agree with that? God could have chosen to forgive humanity in another way. Yeah. He could have chosen that. Yeah. I didn't ask you hypothetically what God can do. Yeah. I didn't ask you what hypothetically God can do. I asked you, can you be forgiven without the spilling of blood? Yes. Okay, so Jesus is wrong when he says, only through spilling of blood you can be forgiven. Shall I give you the verse? Uh, give me the verse, yes. Looks like you're, you're more pretty, familiar I'm, with the Quran I'm, than the Bible. I'm, <laughs> That's why I said, I'm surprised you're not. know the name. <laughs> no, no, there. you can't be a Muslim in name even, because you're hiding. Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, go on. So the words which I want to show you is this one. Read this aloud. See, that's not read deep. it aloud. Yeah, yeah, that's no, Hebrew. no, read it aloud. No, 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 no. Read it aloud. Yeah, 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 yeah. Read I'm... it. Why don't you read it? Why are you ashamed? I'm not ashamed. There so is... read it. Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. But you're wrong. You said it was Jesus that said that. That's all I was saying. Wait, wait. Did Jesus inspire the Bible? Yeah, God, 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 I didn't deny that. I didn't deny that verse. So my question to you was, I was saying Jesus didn't say that. I was saying it was a technical point. What was my question to you? Do you understand what I was saying? My question to you was, can you be forgiven without the shedding of blood? Excuse answer me. Now you we have seen this verse also. Yeah. Listen. Yes or no? Can you be forgiven? I can be, no. but God has chosen. No. God has chosen. I didn't chosen. ask you hypothetically what you can do. I asked you, know, you now. Muhammad, yeah, just because someone just had a bit of a debate over there. Did Muhammad get underneath a spell? He was under some sort of a spell of a demon.
demon or something. Get inside him. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That is absolutely wrong. He had a spell yes, he did. for a demon. He did. A spell in the sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. A spell. What kind of man is Muhammad? Yeah. Jesus wait, is wait. pure. Is he? Pure. Well, that tells you that Muhammad was a liar because he lied and he tried to lie about the Quran. Yeah. Yeah. He, he said he was under a spell. Therefore, yeah. it's bull crap. Okay. <laughs> so once again, once again, you're comparing. No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. History. Wait a minute. Jesus. My friend, go this way with this tree. Go and have an argument with the tree. It's over. It's over. <laughs> God, God died by his own creation. That is over. Allah didn't die. That is over. Now you see, once again, this man, once again, this man compared, compared his God to my prophet. That's why the reason, the reason, the reason, the reason Islam is the fastest growing religion is because of liars like him. Thanks to liars like him. That's not the reason. So are you saying you get up for this? What happened to your connection? Christianity. What, you can't finish it up too? Not by conversion. Where's the evidence? That's right. Look it up. That's right. Look it up. Shall I show you the pew record? The pew. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 He wants you to get a pew research, which is unbiased. Allah is not a true God. And we'll show you the fastest way. Allah is a false God. Go on, go on, go on. It's just because I'm having a lot of babies. I'm sorry, I don't want to, you know. You guys can't have babies anymore? What happened to your reproduction system? Fair enough. Guys, they can't have, they can't reproduce. I know, I know, it's terrible. So even that, the Muslims are better off. Alhamdulillah. You find out now, man. You gotta find out. You gotta find out. Right, you gotta find out. Did you see the hit and run by that guy? No, we don't. He takes the boom, boom, and he ran away. We don't have four wives. And Muhammad had 13. Muhammad had 13. That's the problem. I'm jealous. And Muhammad has... And Muslims are and looking for 72 versions. So, Muslims are looking for 72 versions. According to you, so this is, according to me, this, this, is, is, yeah, this is how you are growing. You are growing for creation. You are growing for 72 versions. And we all know that nature. Our soul lives on, and Jesus' soul lives on. So, we are not immortal. How can he be immortal? Based on your principle, we should be immortal. You believe. Because we die in our human nature. Our flesh dies. But our souls don't die. So we should all be immortal. But the Bible says only God is immortal. You just told me that. So you are completely and utterly wrong. God himself is a liar. He said, we're never going to meet this. No, no. You, the only way you're going to deny this is if you deny your rationality and your reasoning. So tell me, based on your reasoning, you said that you can die and Jesus can die. Why are you immortal and he is immortal? Listen, 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 listen. listen, 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 listen. If you're going to answer the question, you're going to be dead. Can I ask you a question? If the Holy Ghost is dead, that means you're saying you're going to be dead. No, you haven't. I said, why are you dead? A mortal. And Jesus is mortal. When you fall, I never said you're dead. I never said you're dead. You're dead. Jesus, he is the incarnated as a man. When he did that, he willingly became mortal. I don't understand why that's. Also, you are zero percent God. Believe that. You said he willingly became mortal. Zero percent God. I said he believes in a dead God. No, that's not the point. You said he became mortal. God chose to become mortal. Which means he's not God anymore. Which means he's not God anymore. So you know, you you believe in a mortal God. Do you believe in a mortal God? God never died. What I'm saying to you is, do you believe in a mortal God? This is what God did. God chose to incarnate Himself. Honor. Emmanuel, God with us, to prove a point. Yes, he could have given us another way. No, 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 no. I ask you, can God be mortal? When he says to him that he's immortal, can he be mortal? No, we will. Because what you're doing is you're denying the words of the Bible. You're clearly saying, oh, my God, is God. You are somehow saying, this flesh, this flesh is saying to us. You can't understand this, your problem. But we're listening to it to understand it. I'm mortal, but you're not getting it, though. I'm not getting it, though. I'm not getting it. I said divine, divine and human no, are attached to one person. Which part of that do you 
don't understand. <laughs> the wine and you, man, both are attached to that one person, the second person of the Trinity, who died on the cross. To you, it doesn't make any sense. That doesn't mean it's not real. To you, it doesn't make any sense. Actually, I made sense from it and explained it. No, 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 no. You are in denial. You, basically, you are thinking about a, a pagan Allah. A pagan Allah who cannot move, who cannot talk, who cannot walk. Just ignore him. That's the best way to deal with it. When Jesus became a human being, was he 100% God? Uh -oh. He's God and man together. Okay, good, good. Just stick with that point. He was God and man. man. He's a human nature and a divine nature. Now, now wait a minute. Remember earlier I told you the natures do not exist without a person? Okay, so this human nature and divine nature were attached to which person from the Trinity? The second person. No, the divine nature was the second person of the Trinity. The human nature was a man and they united in the person of Jesus Christ. Wait, wait, so you're saying the human nature was not part of anyone in the Trinity? No. You don't even know what no, the no, Trinity no. is then? He doesn't know what hypostatic union means because according to the Christian creed, a hypostatic union of Jesus, once post-incarnation, post yes, he's going to remain the human and the divine nature for eternity. No, 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 it's not that he wasn't divine, he, he was something before, and now he's become something after. You, 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 you don't me, understand, the Trinity me. doesn't change. The Trinity doesn't change. The Trinity doesn't change. Okay, so who became human from the Trinity? The second person. Is that, is that a change? God became God. Is that a change? God. Is that a change? God became flesh. I so you, so like, wait, wait, wait. You were spiritual before, and then the second person of the Trinity became a man. That to me things. is a clear change. You're understanding things in completely human context. Let me ask you a question. I'm a human. How else will I understand? <laughs> humility. Humility. What do you mean humility? You said in a human context. Listen, listen. Do you understand human context or, or angel context? I submit or myself. Islam, context. Islam, I submit myself. To whom? To God. To Allah? Do you? Allah, if you want to call Allah the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, who incarnated the man Jesus Christ, sure. Arabic it? Christians do that. Okay. Yeah. Actually, you know, you are the first person from among the Christians. This guy used to say Allah. Allah is a... What do you say? Allah is the false God. Did false he say... God. Look, yeah. Can you, can you, can you yeah, educate yeah, yeah. him? It's just a word. I know, but can you educate him? So, 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 no, honestly, honestly. I can prove that. You know Hebrew, don't you? Because he keeps saying Allah. I can prove that. Actually, you're right. The Arab Christians... Does he know Hebrew? The Arab Christians... The Arab Hebrews... Is Allah... Does Allah mean God in Hebrew? Uh, the no. word for God no. in Hebrew no. is... Is there, a, is there a word Allah no. or Allah, no. if you will, no. no. that means God? No. No. Uh, Are you scared? Because uh, yeah. it sounds like yeah. 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 El, El Eloah yeah. means God in Hebrew, yes. and they're genetically connected. So why, Allah why do you change? Allah. Why do you E-L-A-H. They're genetically connected. You don't have to... I know, I know this. Yeah. You know, I understand yeah. you know it, but what it is is sometimes it's denied by many Christians. I just wanted to clarify that. Allah does mean God. What is the language of Jesus? What is the word for God in Arabic? So there, there, there is not only sacrifice. Say, say, just say, say, what is the name yeah. for God? There is not only sacrifice. There is not only sacrifice. What is the name for God in, in Aramaic, the language of Jesus? Do you know? You shout a lot. Yeah. What is the name of, what is the word for God in Aramaic? Yeah. Come on, now is the chance. Speak up. I can't hear. No, in yeah, Aramaic, not Hebrew. Yeah, I should ask him. Yeah, I should ask him. Do you, he said he didn't know. What? Do you know the word for, uh, for God in Aramaic? What is illiterate? In Aramaic, what is it? Yes, no, God is Allah. Thank you. It's Allah. Okay? So it's just the way you write Allah with an A at the end. So this ignorant man who says Allah is the Prophet. Allah is the Prophet. Arabic is speaking Aramaic. Because Arabic is Aramaic. Okay. We are not. So now, we now speak back English to what yeah. Jesus himself. Yeah. You see, Jesus. That's true, actually. That's true, actually. I don't know why you can't yeah. why you have to say Allah in English. Well, Allah in English. Yeah, yeah why do you have to do that? Because I like to say the name. It's not the, it's not, it doesn't mean just God. We don't it translate the name. That's, that's you know that? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, like, they were saying Allah. That's your problem. Okay. okay. They were because you don't know Arabic. They're God. You will not be able to understand that the name Allah. Allah says in the Quran, Asna'ul Husna. You know what that means in Arabic? Muhammad. The beautiful name. Muhammad's whole family. They are. I know a bit of Arabic. Worshipping Allah, Allah pagan Husna. God. Allah has 99 names. I know, yeah. yeah. What is the personal name of your God? This idiot. In the New Testament. Jehovah. 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 What is the New Testament? Jehovah God. The name of God. I, I, I. It is the same. 
Will God bless you? I am who I am. No, I, I can't agree that Allah is the name of God. Well, that's your problem. We Muslims know that is the name of God. But, but, you, but this is the thing. So your your but where is the atonement sacrifice? In the Aramaic, is Allah, Allah, and this somehow has some significance for the word Allah. I'm just saying, word. Look, and for me, Allah is just a word. That's right. As a Christian, yeah, you as, a Christian, well done. as a Christian, well done. as a Christian, well as a Christian, you believe that the word for God in Arabic is Allah. The word for God in Aramaic. Wait, 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 wait. The word for God, the word for God in Aramaic is Allah. So you got Allah and Allah. When Jesus was on the cross, what did he cry out? But Allah has the name of God. That's your Hallelujah. Allah is not recorded in the New Testament. So why? Remember that you can. Because when I asked you about the Aramaic, I asked you what is the term for God. I didn't ask you what is the term. Then Allah. Okay. Do not straw man me. What I'm saying is that the name of Allah in the Quran is a name. So you're saying that Allah, the name of God, has been revealed to the Muslims, but not before. Because the name of Allah has been revealed before, because the name of of, of Muhammad's father was Abdullah, yeah. the servant of Allah. I know, now I the know, name of Allah was taken dead. No, it wasn't. It was, it was, it was, it was, let me clarify. I know, I know, but listen, listen, listen. Even if the Semitic people had a habit of naming their main God just God, so El was a pagan deity in Canaan. No, no, because a pagan deity, I'll tell you why. A pagan deity, you know what a pagan deity is? A pagan deity is a deity that you worship other than the main God. Yeah. Okay? So, in the Kaaba, there are 360 idols. They didn't have an idol of Allah. Because they believed that Allah was the God of all of them. Yes? When they, when they were asked, when the pagans were asked, who is the Rabbu Samawa of the seven heavens? And they used to say Allah. Because they believed, they believed in Allah, who was worshipping God. In addition to that, they believed in this demigod. All these, all these idols, and that's why they call them Mushrik Kohn and Arabi. Okay, they're called the Mushriks, the, the pagan Arabs, the Mushriks in, in Arabia. Now, now the reason they were having all these idols is because that is how today the Hindus also uh, basically direct their worship. They say we direct it to an idol, but we are really praying to a God. Okay? However, they did not create an idol of Allah, the Supreme God. The reason for that is because for them, He was the God of everyone. Okay. The only way we can know that is through Islamic history. The okay. crash. So no, no, you can go. You never can go from the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. From, look, there are many inscriptions. God of Abraham, and, and, and inscriptions from the time that these people worship their Allah with Uzza. You know, in the Quran, Allah yeah, yeah, yeah. Allah with Uzza, when they were asked to call this, yes? <laughs> they, Allah, says, Allah says that these are, yeah, yeah. these are the pagan gods. These are the pagan gods that Allah exposes in the Quran. He says, these are nothing but the names of your Fathers in exactly. Yes? Yeah, yeah. So these were the, their own their own minds invented these gods. Just like you guys invented Jesus as God. In order, and Jesus never no, no, claimed no, no, to be God. In order to win the sorry, heart, sorry, heart, sorry, heart, sorry, heart, sorry, heart, sorry, I'm saying Jesus, Jesus can never work with us. I'm not, 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 I'm